Hello there, Karan here. And in this video, we are going to talk about a backup function that I have created. This one uses FTP, the file transfer protocol, to backup your Windows folder in, let's say, any FTP server. Uh, right now, I'm using my phone as an FTP server. So my phone is connected to the Wi-Fi network uh, of my home, Wi-Fi. And I will just simply turn on the FTP app in my phone, my Android device. And uh, if you go into the SRC folder, here we have settings.txt. In the settings, I have already filled these are my, the IP address of my mobile device. This is the port. You will get these numbers from the app in your phone. And uh, generally, these are just addresses. And this is a username and password for authentication. If you don't want anyone <clears throat> without the password to log into your server. And then here you can also select the folder on your server where you want to backup. So I will create an underscore backup folder. You can name it whatever you want. I just want to segregate my folder from other uh let's say other my android folders i will open filezilla quickly to show you that i'm actually able to connect to that device you see the settings are already saved and uh, yes it's successful you can see all the folders of my device here and here we have backup folder i was testing it before the video so i will delete that folder for the sake of this video and now you can see i don't have a backup folder I will minimize that and uh, there are two ways you can use that uh, utility uh, for a newbie you can see right now I don't have I have backup option so what I will do is I will remove that first I will tell you what uh, what I'm doing so here you can see there is no backup option so I just wanted to create a utility where if I'm coding somewhere or doing some work and after that I will just right click on the folder and say backup and then it will automatically uh, create a backup of my current work into my server. Uh, so basically mobile devices are 24 7 working and they are on so you can use your phone as a FTP server. Uh, let's let me tell you the usage of this so I will open CMD here we will say backup to see the help menu it says uh, this function will backup your pc folders to ftp server and this is the version number and uh, backup you just have to provide the path and that's all uh, with the path you need to make sure that this settings.txt file always reside with the same folder in backup.bat and this already contains the settings that you want so you don't have to fill your settings again and again it's just one time thing uh, okay so yes let's use the demo file or oh, no let's not use that let's use cmd i will show you one folder that i have i have in my d drive we have fnc folder uh, which it is my coding project i was working on it so i wanted to back up this folder let's back it up in my mobile device increase the screen the font size echo off and then here i will write backup uh, i want to backup the fnc folder in my c drive and i'll say enter and awesome it says here some things access denied and then okay and but after that <clears throat> we have a new user and then we created a folder and then seems like everything work, worked fine. Let's go to FileZilla and then try to refresh this. Yeah, you can see here backup folder is created. I will open that. I, inside that you see FNC is there. If you go inside FNC, you won't find uh, the content of the folder. You find a zip file. Zip file contains the content of the, of the folder. So for example, why this is important is, for example, if I want to back up my folder after half an hour, after half an hour working on it extra, and then if I give the same command, now if I refresh this folder, you see there are two backups now. One is the older one. You can uh, see the backup thing is named by date 
month, year, and then here is the time. So 16 hours, 18 minutes, and 30 seconds. So you can detect from this uh, name which file is it, the latest one and keep the backup. Uh, but running this from the command prompt every time is a bit, bit hectic. So what I did is I actually created this script which will add this command into your right click option. So here you just need to run this as admin. Here it is written run as admin. Right click run as admin. Yes. So here it says uh, run this as admin otherwise this will not work. Okay. Please select an option one or two. So add backup to your right click remove backup from your right click. So in case it's like installation of a software uh, like uh, unofficial installation basically it will just add the path of this particular project from here into your registry so that you can easily access it by right clicking so i will say yeah please add it to my right click menu and it says operation completed successfully try right clicking check by right click i will say right click here we have backup so what i will do is i will uh, yeah, let's back up the backup folder itself. So I will right click and say backup. Okay, that went quite fast. I will say I will go back into my uh, listing. Let's go to backup folder. I'll say refresh. You see now, as we backed up backup folder this time, a backup folder is created. Inside that you have this. I want to create another backup of this folder. I will say backup again. And uh, now if you will refresh that, you see another backup is created. So now this way you can easily create quick backups uh, without too much hassle with the command prompt, I'll say. But in the end, if you want to update anything or, or modify anything, you have to come here. And then if you want to remove it from uh, your right click, you can just run this file again and then select option two. And uh, yeah, let's talk about the code uh, slightly before we proceed the code is basically uh, given under gpl gnu version 3 license version 3 and uh, it basically reads all the dat data from the settings.txt file that's obvious if the file is missing you won't be able to use this utility it will automatically close itself and then it is creating a uh, time format time and date format to detect to create a special version for the current backup and then it will use 7za 7z.exe i will say uh, to create to upload this zip file to our uh, to create the zip file first from the content of the current path and then we will create a small ftp script that will simply just upload the file to the remote location and then yeah that's pretty much all and after that you will delete the junk files so that it they will not create a mess in your PC and yes that's pretty much all that's how it works and uh, how you can back up your folders quickly into your mobile device or any other remote server and I hope that you like this uh, project if you like projects like this and you like to see innovative scripts a quick solutions to your daily problems consider subscribing to our channel and then yeah i'll see you in the next videos thank you so much for watching bye bye